Hey everyone, I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video to help those that are using an XGuard RPM sensor with a Futaba system. Um, in this model here, this is a Spectre Nitro with a CGY760R and a 16IZ um, transmitter, um, but this will be very similar for multiple other radios and um, flybarla systems with governors in them. Um, the main thing here is making sure that people realize that the Fataba sensors and this sensor, the X-Guard one, are very similar. They send the same signals and therefore the CGY actually doesn't know that it's different to the Fataba one. There is a step at the end that is different um, with a Fataba sensor versus this one, but that's actually in the radio. Um, and we'll go through what that actually is. So the main thing is you wanna jump into your um, CGY um, setup. And inside here, you're going to go through your governor setup exactly the same way you normally would. Um, you go through, you make sure that it's activated, the pole number for a nitro is still two, gear ratio. So whatever the gear ratio is for the helicopter just goes in there as normal. And basically you can ignore all these um, pages here. They're exactly the same. So you have to obviously go through and set them up, but there is no difference between the X-Guard system and Fataba system in particular for these menus. So again, just make sure the sensor type is nitro. Um, again, no differences here. Um, this is the, the page that, again, would be the same with the Tarba one, but it's a good place to make sure that you've checked and got everything right. And one of the key differences here that people are getting wrong um, is either not having this RPM out activated or having this RPM slot moved around into a different number. So the key point here is make sure one, it's activated and two, using the two end slot. Um, so that corresponds with the, t the sensor slots that we'll get to in a minute inside the transmitter. So what you wanna do is think about how this information is being transferred. It's coming in from the RPM sensor into the CGY, and that's what you're setting up here. And then this page here is telling the CGY to send that data out through the SBUS2 ports, um, or you know through that um, receiver and the telemetry package and send that to the transmitter so it can then digest that data basically. Um, key thing here is it's always good to make sure that your sensor is working. So again, I'm not gonna spin up a whole helicopter for the sake of this, but we should be able to see that as I spin this around, I'm gonna get a number coming through there. So as long as you're getting something coming through there, I've seen these kind of range a little bit, but they, gen, uh, they tend to be around the 87 or in the high 80s. Um, make sure that you're getting that. So as the crank comes around, of course, you should see it come through. So once you've done all that and you've got these two set up here, the governor is just as you would with any other um, sensor that you would use to, to govern um, using a Fataba system. So you can jump back out of all that and out of the CGY. So now the CGY has everything set up that I would say is different to that. You've got your gear ratio done, everything else is right. The governor itself right now would be working perfectly fine. You can go out to the field, you could use that. The next step that we see a lot of hiccups from is making sure that the telemetry, that data now for RPM is now being shown on the radio correctly. So if you wanted to jump in here and um, you know have a look at your telemetry here, making sure that that data is coming through correctly or if you've got it setting in your normal telemetry screen like this. So. What you want to make sure you do here is you jump into your sensor, and I've already got this one put in, but with a Fataba system, you'd normally plug the sensor directly back into the back of the transmitter. You'd go over, press register, and that would be it. Um, if you try to do that with the X-Guard system, what will actually happen is you'll get an error. Um, it'll just say you can't find it. Um, different radios kind of say different things, but the, the, the gist of it is that it can't find that, and that's because the X-Guard doesn't have an ID. So if you'd registered a normal, um, genuine Fataba sensor, you'd get some ID number here that would be the same as what's written on the, the actual thing. So all you want to do here is make sure you press one of these sensors, and this is where I was talking about making sure that you have your slots lined up with each other. So in the CGY, we said 2M, and that corresponds with this slot here. So all you would do is jump in here, go RPM sensor, and that's it. Leave the ID at zero, and that part of it's set up. Now, this is the one that kind of keeps tripping people up. They now go back out to the field, fly, and they're gonna get some weird number like 200, 250. 
And what that is, is generally when you set these sensors up and you go back in your telemetry and open this up, so again, obviously here, right down here, it defaults to a gear ratio of eight, which is the normal default for the CGY as well. The issue here is if you leave the eight down here, what you're actually telling the um, telemetry is you're bringing the engine RPM. And again, this is where I was talking about making sure you remember the flow of data through these systems. The RPM sensor is going to give the CGY the engine RPM. So let's say something like 16,000 RPM. Then it does the gear ratio conversion to get you to 2,000 RPM on the head, given that we're using an eight, um, an eight gear ratio here. If you leave this one down here, what it actually ends up doing is multiplying that gear ratio because now you've got 2000 RPM as your data coming out into the transmitter, it will then multiply it again by eight. And then that's where you're gonna get something like 250 RPM rather than your 2000. So what you wanna make sure you do here is drop that all the way down, drop it back down to one. So what that's gonna do is it's just basically not gonna adjust the data. Now, the information that you'll get coming out of your CGY will say 2000, again, just using examples that I used before. And now when you go back to your telemetry page here, this will be just a perfect replication of what the CGY is feeling. Um, and that's it, that, that's, that's the thing that seems to be getting a few people. It's those couple of screens, making sure you're getting the data coming through the system correctly. Um, the main thing there is that it's actually a little bit easier than having a Fataba system. You don't have to register the, the sensor or anything like that. Um, again, if you have any issues, please reach out to XGuard or myself um, and we will be happy to help you through it. But this should apply to a few different radios, a few different sensors and everything like that. But um, again, it should all work. If it doesn't, reach out. Thanks.